Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to compare the OnePlus 9 Pro and the OnePlus 8 Pro in a gaming challenge. So let's get into it. And as you can see, I have cleared up the RAM and now we open both the games simultaneously on the phones. Before we go into the in-depth comparison, do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon and don't forget to like the video. And the OnePlus 9 Pro is on the left, the 8 Pro on the right and let's see which one opens up faster. And before I could finish, the OnePlus 9 Pro is faster here but that's not a surprise since it packs the Snapdragon 888 compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro's Snapdragon 865 which is of the previous year. Now the phone really feels good in the hand, the OnePlus 8 Pro as well as the OnePlus 9 Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro has got aesthetically the same design as the OnePlus 9 Pro but the camera bumps are different and the finishes uh, depending upon the colors you choose are slightly different. Right from the power button placement to the volume rocker everything is practically the same with both the phones. Even the speaker placement at the bottom is the same. So you have the same speaker, USB Type-C and SIM card tray at the bottom. On the right you have the power button as well as the mute switch. On the left you have the volume rocker. On the top there is nothing. And both the phones while holding it in a landscape position will cover the speakers. So we'll see that in the rest of the video. Both the phones have a gaming mode. So you do have a separate game space or a game app which is installed in these phones. On the OnePlus 8 Pro, the Pro Gaming mode was known as Fanatic mode while the OnePlus 9 Pro uh, is just known as Pro Gaming mode. So which is, which is that slight difference there. They both support the same things, same exact features except that the OnePlus 9 Pro has got a hyper touch which the OnePlus 8 Pro does not. So basically the touch sensitivity or the touch response rate or the OnePlus 9 Pro can increase drastically while playing games. I'm trying to keep this comparison as similar as possible. So both the phones are at the same brightness level as well. Also that the OnePlus 9 Pro is now equipped to give haptic gestures while playing Call of Duty. The OnePlus 8 Pro isn't, but I guess that's fine and might come with a, with a future update. Now let's get into the game. So as we saw at the start of the video, the OnePlus 9 Pro is a tad bit faster than the OnePlus 8 Pro. But both the phones exactly look similar uh, when you look at them side by side. There is not much difference. So you have the exact same colors and I have kept the displays uh, similar as well. Now let's just hear the speakers with the OnePlus 8 Pro's volume completely to zero. That was the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now let's hear the OnePlus 8 Pro. For me, both the phones sounded exactly the same and I cannot pick one over the other. But do comment below if you think which of these were louder. Now let's look at the screen. Now the screen between both the 8 Pro and the 9 Pro are not much different. They are practically the same and I will try and keep the same settings for both the phones. Uh, the OnePlus 8 Pro is a Quad HD AMO LED display which goes to 120Hz fixed refresh rate. The OnePlus 9 Pro on the other hand is a Quad HD Plus display with an LTPO panel which goes from 0 to 120Hz with an adaptive refresh rate. So it's not the same. The touch sensitivity on the OnePlus 9 Pro goes to 360Hz because of the hyper touch feature while the OnePlus 8 Pro has a 240Hz touch sampling rate which is fixed. 
so both the phones are pretty similar uh, to one another and now let me quickly go into the settings of both the phones and make sure that both the OnePlus 8 Pro as well as the OnePlus 9 Pro are at the same exact screen settings so we get a good comparison between both these phones and as you can see they are identical exact same settings now let's go into the games and both the phones have their gaming modes on so they are optimized to play this game and now let's get into the game and see how both these devices perform under the game there is going to be a little bit of gameplay as well in this and i will fast forward it if you want to see it you can go into the settings of the video and slow it down so that you can see the game the only difference which i see with both the displays uh, is that the OnePlus 9 Pro looks a little purplish compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro and since both the phones are at the same exact display settings uh, it is a little weird but people might prefer the OnePlus 9 Pro's display uh, because of more punchier colors but there is a tinge of purple coming into the display and i'm not sure why but i'm pretty sure it can be uh fixed with a software update it is just uh the display's calibration next is a little bit of gameplay and i will be fast forwarding the video and now you can disengage the slow motion i think both the phones are pretty similar and i will maintain that stand let's look at the battery life and what damage it has done to the battery life and both these phones have the exact same battery capacity so you have 4500 mAh on the OnePlus 9 Pro and a 4510 mAh on the OnePlus 8 Pro The difference here is that the OnePlus 9 Pro comes with a Snapdragon 888 which will be uh, more efficient compared to the 865 on the 8 Pro and the OnePlus 9 Pro comes with a 65 watt fast charging which is wired which takes the phone from 1% to 100% in 29 minutes. The OnePlus 8 Pro on the other hand has a 30 watt fast charging and it goes from 0 to 50% in 23 minutes. So not that and upon my usage I did not find any significant difference in battery life and to be honest I feel that the OnePlus 8 Pro is still going strong and both the phones respect with respect to their temperatures are pretty similar so 32 33 degrees and I feel that the OnePlus 8 Pro is a good bet in 2021 as well when it comes to gaming uh, it is still rocking and I think It is a good phone to buy. I definitely recommend it. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below. So do hit me up. As usual, thanks for watching.